I am genuinely so sad right now. I mean, this used to be one of my favorite restaurants to come to in Myeongdong, in particular for bibimbap. And, you know, when you're a foodie in Korea, you always do have a fear that your favorite restaurant will one day close because the turnover rate in Korea is just simply so high when it comes to restaurant, even for the places that do really well. And especially in an area like Myeongdong where you're paying very high rent, um, I guess it's just a reality. And of course, with uh, COVID-19, it's, I guess this place just uh, bent and bent and then eventually broke. Um, so it looks like the uh, Dorsot Bibimbap video that I was going to uh, make for you is not going to happen now. And, you know, this was such a great place because it was truly a hole in the wall down an alley like this. But the Bibimbap here was really that good. It was a Jeonju Bibimbap. And the great thing about it was that the meat was marinated before being cooked. And I really wanted to show you that. Um, they do show a sign here that says that th they have a second location in Bukchangdong and I guess that location is still open so perhaps I'll head there in the near future and uh, show you what it's like. I've never been to that location so maybe I'll uh, go over there and do a review on that uh, eventually but I must say that I'm genuinely sad and walking here through Myeongdong I, I mean, I knew that obviously it was going to be a little bit different because of the virus, but it really is a ghost town. There's so many um, stores and restaurants and businesses that are just empty on the first floor. And, you know, you kind of had an idea of what it would be like, but when you actually see it firsthand, it really actually is quite saddening and perhaps even a little bit disheartening as a former restaurant owner myself. But yeah, sad to see and uh, really sad that this place closed down now as well. And uh, I'll have to check out their other location in uh, Puchangdo. It's usually packed shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow of people walking by, tourists trying to maneuver and weave their way through the street food stands that are normally packed all up and down this street. But instead right now, Look at all the empty stores. Okay, so upon calling the phone number on the second location, I discovered that uh, Bukchangdong actually wasn't very far at all from Myeongdong. It was actually just walking distance to get here. So I decided to take the stroll over to check out their second location. And here it is. This is Jeonju Hegan, And it's uh, one of my favorite uh, Dolsot Bibimbap places, hopefully. The uh, recipes and everything will be exactly the same and the food will be uh, just as good. Let's go check it out. You can hear the sizzle of this bibimbap and that's because the rice is cooking on the bottom. I, li I like to let it sit for a little bit so it gets nice and crispy. But this is uh, definitely the aroma that you're getting from the rice being scorched on the bottom of the stone bowl. The flavors of all the different veggies in here as well. I mean, the smell of this is absolutely amazing. You can see your seaweed here, some red cabbage, a little bit of uh, sliced veggies, some moo, all sorts of different uh, pickled veggies, variations of kimchi. The key here, is this the meat that they use is um, marinated so the flavor and the meat that they keep even with the gochujang and everything in here the meat really has a nice flavor to it which is what i love about this place you've got your uh, chestnuts um, some sprouts some lettuce spinach um, these are some this is called kosari this uh, brown root uh, actually not really a root I guess it's sort of like a fern and uh, all sorts of sesame as well and of course our egg and I'm gonna 
mix this egg with the bowl now. Make sure the egg gets all cooked up. And let's see how this mixes. Okay, I think we've let this cook long enough. Let's let's give this a mix around and uh, see what it looks like. And yeah, the, the zucchini in here as well makes a really nice touch. I love zucchini and especially in my bibimbap. See how, to see how nicely toasted that is? Oh, it's gonna taste amazing. This is an acorn jelly, some kimchi. Looks like some, um, maybe some fermented squid. This is like a root and here is some spinach. And we also got some uh, bean sprout soup as well. Because the bowl is hot, I mean, you can see that that's steaming. It's piping right now. Mm. Yeah, that rice was that rice is so crispy. It's crunching in there. Sure, you can find torso bibimbap for cheaper at other places, but the quality of the ingredients that you're getting, it's not going to be the same. Sauce probably not going to be the same. The meat being marinated, good luck on that one. This place has been around since 1958. Family-run business, still kept within the family. And you know they're doing things right because in Seoul, you can't have a business run for even more than six months sometimes. These guys have been around since 1958. And even through this pandemic, they lost their store in Myeongdong, but this place is still around because a lot of business office uh, employees in the downtown area still come here to eat this stuff. And they know that this is good, which is what's keeping these guys still in business after all these years, since 1958. You know, there's just so many things that are mixed into a bowl of torso bibimbap that the textures that you're getting, the flavors that you're getting, the different crunches and different fleshy feels, as well as the crunch of everything that gets cooked in the bowl. It's just amazing. And if you think of like takkalbi or something like that as like a rock concert in your mouth, this is like a symphony because there's just so many different things going on in there that make its way into your mouth that you can kind of feel at the same time and taste, of course. It's this crusty stuff at the bottom that you gotta really work off. These are the best things. I mean, it's just, it's super crispy. right down to the last crumb. This is 10,000 won. It's obviously a little bit more than you might be paying at other places for bibimbap, but uh, this, the quality of what you're getting, you gotta at least try this once, just to really understand what a better bibimbap might taste like than the typical five or six dollar bibimbap that you might be getting at your local punchik place. Anyways, I'll leave a description, I'll leave the location of this place in the description below. Check that out and uh, come check this out. Like the video and subscribe to the channel so you're up to date the next time I upload one of these videos. Thanks for watching this to the end.